Hey y'all! So I just finished filming my best of 2012 video and it was quite long because I had a lot of favorites. It was over 20 minutes. So I decided to split it into two parts. So what you're gonna see now is my favorite face and eye makeup products. And then tomorrow I'm gonna post the video with my favorite lip products and my favorite makeup tools. So anyways, enjoy! Hey y'all! So today I shall be doing my best of 2012. These are all the products that I've just been really loving throughout the year. Okay, so I might as well start with face products. First thing I have is this primer from L'Oreal and it is the Magic Perfecting Base. It just makes my skin feel really smooth. It did not break me out or do anything weird because that's the thing I have to be really careful with like with foundations and primers that they don't, you know, give my skin any weird reactions, but thankfully this didn't and it's awesome. Okay, I have two foundations that I really love during this year and yes, they're both drugstore. The first one is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. This is the one that came out over the summer. This gives great coverage, great finish. And what I really like about it is, unlike the normal Colorstay foundation, I like that one too, but you gotta work with it quickly before it sets, but with this one you have a bit more time. And the other foundation is the CoverGirl Nature Lux. This just gives my skin a great dewy finish. It's not the fullest coverage, I'd say it's a light to medium coverage, but it covers everything that I need to be covered. And also it comes in a great variety of colors, you know how I know, because I match the second lightest. Usually I'm in the lightest shade because we all know that I'm pale as a ghost. Powder, I love the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This has SPF 25 in it, just the original so it doesn't give you any color. I know they have a tinted one as well. It is just a loose powder. It's my favorite setting powder and I also like that it has SPF in it. So we all know how I'm crazy about sun protection. Okay, concealers, I got a few. First is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. I don't get blemishes a lot, but when I do, I use this. Covers them up really well. It said on the box that this can be used for tattoos. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, then it's awesome. And under my eyes, I don't like to use that one because it can settle a bit into those fine lines. So I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And I'm running low on this. You can see how much I love this stuff. The thing that I really like to wear under this, just to get rid of all that dark circles, is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. And this is in light bisque. So this is a pink tone. So it cancels out all those blue dark circles. Watch my vlog channel, you'll already know that I don't get enough sleep, which is something I definitely need to work on. So thankfully these two make things nice and bright under there. Okay, bronzer. If I could only use one bronzer for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder in Milk Chocolate. So this is the lighter one. They have a darker one as well. And that's what it looks like. Smells like chocolate. It's not as strong now as when I first got it, but I don't only like it for the scent. It's also matte, which is great for contouring, and it's just the right color for me. It's not orange or muddy or any of that thing. I also gotta be careful when I'm picking up bronzers. And a drugstore bronzer that I also really like is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sundance. You can see the thing has worn off because I've used it so much. It's shimmery, so it gives a nice glow. I also think they have a matte version of this. It's called Sunlight or something like that. So if you want a good drugstore matte bronzer, there's that. I know they're hard to find. Okay, blushes. I got three. Might as well show you the high-end one first. And it is the Lorac Baked Matte Satin Blush in Exposed. And I like peach tone blushes. This really warms up my complexion. And it is so pretty. The color. And when you blend it out, it just gives a really nice glow. And I also really like this NYX blush. And I've actually heard it's a dupe for the NARS Orgasm. And they are extremely similar. And this is in Pinched. And it's just peachy with some golden shimmer. So there's that. And what I really like about these is that 
They're super affordable, but a really great quality. Unfortunately, they're near impossible to find in stores outside of the States, so you gotta order them online. That's what I did, but it was definitely worth it. And the last blush I have is the Hard Candy Baked Blush, and this is in Honeymoon. This is just like pink with some purple lines through it. If I just want a slight bit of color, then that works really well. And my favorite highlighter of all year, and I love this so much. It is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way Luminizer, and this one is in Dollface. Get this at Walmart. So this is the pink one. They also have one that's more of a bronzy color. Just gives that perfect glow. And look at how much product you get. It's at Walmart, so it's super affordable. So if you've been looking for a good highlighter, but you're on a budget, I definitely suggest this. Okay, eyebrows. I love my Maybelline Define a Brow. It has a little comb on one end, and it just has the brow stuff on the other end. It's kind of waxy, so what I like about this, it holds my brows in place. And also comes in a good variety of colors. I am in the shade dark brown. So whether you have lighter or darker brows, you'll find one that matches you. Alright. Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the only eyeshadow primer that I've used. And it does last you a long time. I think it's almost been a year since I've got this. I'm probably gonna have to replace it soon. Put this all over your eyelids. Let it dry for a bit. And then your eyeshadow will not crease and it will look more vibrant. I know that in the States, e.l.f. has a good eye primer, but unfortunately can't find it here. I really hope Target's gonna have it when they finally come to Canada. Y'all know how much I love my eyeshadows. And I know a lot of people, their favorite shadows are from MAC. I like those, but Urban Decay is definitely my favorite band for eyeshadows. The Naked Palette, it just has 12 full-size neutral shades. It also comes with a brush. I really like this brush. It's very good for packing it on. Shades are super pigmented and really pretty. It's just a couple to show you. Get many great looks from this. Another palette I have from Urban Decay, this is good if you like a good variety, is the Vice Palette. And it also comes with a brush. This one's double-ended. And some of these colors, they're very unique. Like, I had nothing like this before. They're all super pretty. A couple of these, they do have a lot of follow-up. Just remember to tap off your brush. Still definitely worth it. If you'd rather have individual shadows, they also have a good variety of color. I have one. This is Kush, and it is a green color. I was not able to find a color like this anywhere else. I looked everywhere because y'all you know green is my favorite color. Okay, drugstore. You know I've raved about these lots of times and they are the Wet n Wild shadows. I love the palettes. Trios. And I recently got a single. Super pigmented. They're very soft, which I like. And I think the trios are $3. This one was about $5, and this one cost me $2. They have a really good color variety too. I think the reason why I don't want to own a lot of MAC shadows is that a lot of these Wet n Wild things are actually dupes for some of the matte colors. And I also really like the Maybelline Eye Studio Explosion Compact. Now these contain four shadows and a glitter. Again, they are really soft. And they have a good color variety too. I have the green one and the purple one. I also know they have a blue and one that has more neutral colors. So these are gorgeous. Okay, L'Oreal Infallibles. I love these to death. The two that I'm holding up right now are Bronze Taupe and Gold Mine. In Canada, these first came out in June 2011. That's when I got my first one. And back then I didn't even own an eyeshadow primer. And guess what? They do not crease. You don't even need a primer with these. I feel like a loose shadow that's been pressed together. It's hard to describe, but I really like it. Now they're much raved about product. The Maybelline Color Tattoos. Now these are cream shadows, and they do stay put all day. Recently they came out with more. This is the Metal Collection, and I got the highlight color, which is barely branded. This is my favorite colorful one, which is Fierce and Tangy. It's 
orange and while it's not completely matte it does have a lot less shimmer than some of the other shades i know that was one complaint that they didn't have enough matte shades but i do like my sparkle moving along to eyeliners so my favorite retractable liners are the physician's formula and this is the new smoky nude eye set they have i hope this is not limited edition because these are awesome and i can't believe i forgot to mention this before they actually come let's see if i can pull this out oh yeah with a sharpener so if this is getting kind of worn down you can just stick it in there twist it a few times and it'll be good as new oh and they don't smudge or run which is something i really want in an eyeliner they have some other colors too then there's this wet n wild color icon brow and eyeliner I got, I paid $1.50 for this and look at how much product you get. And it was even longer when I first got it. This is the dark brown one, but they do have other colors as well. And I really like these, they're a good value. Okay. Nyx slide on pencils, again, near impossible to find outside of the States, but still super awesome. They glide on so nicely and they're Almost a dupe for the next product I'm going to show you, just that the colors are kind of different, but I still love this, and I kind of want to get more of them. I hope I'm going to go down to the States next year so I can actually buy some from an Alta, rather than going through all the trouble of ordering it and waiting for it to get here. But anyways, Urban Decay 24 7 pencils. Yes, these are a bit pricier, but... You can also get sets sometimes with a few colors. That's how I got these. They really do stay put all day. And they also have a really great color variety. Brighter ones, more neutral, darker shades. You name it. That's why I really like Urban Decay. And once again, it just glides on. Like so yes, these are wonderful. Her gel liners. You already know what I'm going to say. Physician's Formula Cream Gel Liners. This one for green eyes, but... We do have lots of colors too. This one is green, purple, and black with some bluish green shimmer. I love these. They are super creamy. They stay put all day. Had these for a while and no, they have not dried out on me. Okay, mascara. Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is only a sample size that I got with another product I'm gonna mention. I really like this. The formula is great. It gives nice length and volume. It's a high-end product, but y'all know I would not recommend a high-end product unless I absolutely loved it. My favorite Darkstar mascara is the CoverGirl Nature Lux. Yes, this one's still in the packaging. I ran out of my other ones, so I went out and got this. After using this, my lashes, they do have a bit more length and volume, but they still look really natural. I kind of like that look. I like this brush too. It really separates very well. It's almost like a smaller version of the brush that comes with the CoverGirl Lash Blast. Okay. Mm -hmm. 